Good morning, folks. We'll hit just about all the core topics today. Here on our star, there are considerable plasma filament populations surrounding the disk and one large one turning into face Earth. Just left of the bright spot, the dark vertical line is an eruptive prominence we'll have to watch today. Speaking of the bright spot, over at spaceweathernews.com, let's see, it comes out of nowhere midday, right in the middle of the Earth-facing sun. Tucked between coronal holes, we'll need to monitor this active region for solar flare potential. Up next is the solar wind. We are seeing stability found in the plasma density while the particle speed has taken a half step down, leaving the KP low yet again and stirring only minor cosmic ray health alerts. Hopefully you got that alert this morning through the app. Within a few days, intensified streams from these coronal holes will begin impacting Earth's magnetic field, but until then we are seeing earthquake risk rising sharply today as magnetic field connections have a bit of a ride coming up here. Up next, Iceland. Grimsvatn becomes the third terrifying volcano to show signs of magma intrusion and wake-up phase on the small island nation in the North Atlantic. That region has had strong and eastward anomaly convergence to their low-pressure systems. One of them spun up a twister in the waters off France yesterday. Meanwhile, other regions were not so lucky to receive the aesthetic aspects of the system. Want to run forward into next week as things are shaping up rough in the U.S.? A system of strong storms readies to run up the east coast and it appears a major blizzard condition will hit the Midwest on Sunday. As it moves on to New England, a dose of rain for the entire west coast is forecast into the middle of the week when bad storms will begin to return to the central states. Odd news from under the ice. A radioactive heat source is causing melt from the bottom of the sheet. Their best guess is geological activity. I'm hoping it's the Tesseract. Let's go ahead and zoom in using Simbad on the NGC 1866. This region was discovered almost 100 years ago, but Hubble finally let us see what Dunlop and Herschel could only have dreamed about in the early 1900s. Also, once again, the most interesting feature, the curved arc of stars, is not described in the image release. Fantastic Electric Sun paper here. They're examining the current sheets in explosive plasma filament eruptions, leading the axis driving outward in CMEs too article hit the Cornell preprint archive detailing the need for a paradigm shift in how we think about dark matter, especially in galaxies. While the cosmic web is still deep enough for speculation, we can just see so many galaxies well enough to realize the math isn't working as they thought it would. And speaking of why that might be, we can't stop discovering covert matter, whether it's water, dust, dusty plasma, or in this case, cold, cold gas. They are seeing an abundance of material that we should have seen before wasn't written into the numbers and which is only now being discovered. A hidden cold gas surplus in the disk. In one of the weirdest things I've ever seen from a top solar scientist, a naive prediction of the next solar cycle has been made. One that essentially boils down to simply averaging all previous cycles, which means that this NASA solar scientist predicts a sunspot number of around 180 for the upcoming cycle, nearly twice what the observers and most other solar physicists predict. And while that is admittedly naive and unlikely, I do want to mention that if it happened, it would come close to matching grand solar maximum once again. Folks, today is Saturday. Website members at suspiciousobservers.org have a podcast coming up here in a few hours. Lots of great topics today, and we greatly appreciate your support. Bit of sad news. One of three batches of Kira and Lulu Visit the Planets has a printing error, and while only about 25 of those went out, everyone who has got one ordered is going to get a replacement if it's gone out already because we don't know who got what. Bad news is it won't be there until early next year. Email coming from Kat today, so eyes open if you've ordered the new book. These are your wind maps, followed by shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.